Can you see me? Yes. Okay, so let's talk about large intestine. They told me I have how many minutes? Four minutes? Talk about large intestine? Three minutes? Oh my God, so I have to say fast. So the large intestine is the part that are, uh, the food, not food anymore, is technically waste with water, is here. And then you need to, th that needs to go through this tube before is, it leaves the body. So what, what you can guess the job of this tube is, the major, major, major job of this tube, large intestine is, you see me, right? Is to absorb water. Because this absorption of water is very critical, otherwise you lose a lot of water. When you have diarrhea, what happens? Whatever you have here, suddenly go out. That's why you see it fast. But if you don't have diarrhea, what happens? This diarrhea slowly going through here, it takes sometimes 24 to 48 hours. And it has time to absorb the water. You can ask right away that, oh, why we didn't absorb water in the small intestine? Why we waste, wait, waited to go through here? Actually, we absorb a lot of water in the small intestine. But the problem is that if, the, if all water absorbed in the small intestine, it will become so dry. And it will not, would be, it cannot pass through the small intestine and absorption of good food become possible. You understand? That's why it's still staying watery. We need to be watery. But at this point on, then you need to get rid of water. Not get rid of Don't lose the water. You need to absorb the water back to the blood. What are the parts of the large intestine? So now we know the job of large intestine. I will write it in detail. So first of all, what is this? What is this part? Huh? The connection. End of the small intestine. So it comes here. There is a valve here, a small valve. We call it ileocecal valve. This valve, what it does when the, when the diarrhea or whatever remaining of waste goes here, it can never go back. It goes one way. One way. It opening this way will never go back. So what are the parts of large intestine? There is one little bag here, this little bag here. That is called cecal. Cecum, there's a little bag here. It's a dead end point. Connected to cecum, you have the famous appendix. Appendix. Then you have here a colon. This colon is because the food or feces going upward, we call it ascending colon. And then the, the feces goes transversely from right side to the left side. That is called that is called transverse colon. Transverse colon. And then it's going downward. We call it what? We call it, we call it, huh? Descending colon. Very good. Very good. And then you, you go, and then you go here. There is an S-shape colon here. We call it S-shape. We call it sigmoid. The word sigmoid means S-shape. Sigma shape. Sigma is like S, S, a sigmoid colon. Then you go to this part. This part, there is a tube because it becomes a straight. We call it rectum. Rectum is the part that in the center becomes straight. The word rectum means a straight, like rectus. Uh, Can you see me? But you cannot see this. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do. I used to here. How about that? OK, rectum, but I'm left-handed. How can I write that? OK, whatever. So the rectum is a straight rectus femoris, the muscle, famous muscle, or rectus abdominis. These are the word rectus means straight. So this part of large intestine is rectum going down. And then in the middle, changes to something else. We call it anal canal. I have to go the other side. They call it anal canal. And anal canal ends to anus. And then obviously the. Toilet. So, yeah, here's better, right? Okay, so we have these parts in the large intestine. The, the parts of large intestine is the cecum, is the appendix, which technically doesn't do anything, then ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, rectum, anal canal, anus, out. So this is large intestine. The major job of large intestine is what? Can I have here? Mm -hmm. 
Large intestine. What are the job of large intestine? What are the jobs of large intestine? Intestine. Actually, pronunciation is intestine. People say it by mistake, intestine. That's wrong. Intestine. Okay. So, so the large intestine, the jobs are, number one is what? Is uh, absorbing water, right? Water absorption. What is the other one? What's the other job? This water absorption after the feces is formed and you continue to get rid of the, the feces. The, what is the medical term to get rid of the feces? What is it? What is the medical term for that? Bowel movement, exactly wrong. Because the term is defecation. Have you heard this term before? Yes. Defecation. The term is defecation. So defecation is another. There is another job of, of large intestine is happening here that uh, is, is the production of a vitamin. Sometimes in some exams they ask you, vitamin K. K, beautiful. Vitamin K production. What is, what, how? Vitamin K production is happening by the normal bacteria living inside the large intestine. Not all the bacteria are bad. Some bacteria are good. The good bacteria that they live in, can you, can you, can you get, no you cannot, okay. The good bacteria that they live, huh? Can I take here, can I write here? Yeah. The good bacteria live in your large intestine. I just want you to know the, their, 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 their medical term. We call them normal flora. If you hear the term flora, Normal flora is the, is the actual bacteria that they live inside your uh, large intestine. These bacteria, they do so many things for you. One of the things is production of vitamin K. Vitamin K is one of the critical components of blood clot formation. So if you don't have vitamin K, Let's say this way, if you don't have enough normal bacteria inside in your large intestine, you cannot make vitamin K. When we, you cannot make vitamin K, there is a chance that you bleed without having been able to stop the bleeding. This happens in newborn babies. Sometimes in exams they ask you that, do you know that every baby is born they inject vitamin K to them right away after birth. Did you know that? That's as a mandatory protocol. Yeah, did you know that? Yeah, oh, good, good for you. So what happens is because when the baby is born, because she never had the chance, or he maybe, didn't have a chance to eat food, so these bacteria never went to the large intestine. So never, he or she never developed these. These bacteria, they come from outside. They never come from mother during the belly, right? during the pregnancy. So, so what happens is the baby never had a chance to develop this bacteria and make a vitamin K. The first two, three days until the baby start breastfeeding, getting milk, and then this bacteria making vitamin K, your own vitamin K, we need external vitamin K for the baby to prevent for any unpredictable uh, uh, bleeding. That's why we give it to every baby. So, so we didn't do that 40 years ago. And so many babies born, we know all of us know grandmother, grandfather, they had a brother who died at birth, right? These days, the, the chance of death in advanced countries, the chance of death after, at birth is almost zero. Because they control. One of the common ones was bleeding during the first couple of days, and nobody could stop this bleeding, and the baby would die simply. We just needed to give vitamin K to this baby. That's very simple. That doesn't happen these days. So I just told you all this story just to tell you that vitamin K is made inside the large intestine by your normal bacteria. Uh, and not necessarily you need to eat vitamin K as long as you have enough bacteria in your large intestine. One of the things happen, people, they have a colon cancer. Colon cancer. It means the cancer of the large intestine. One of the common cancers in pathology, I will talk about cancers in detail, but one of the common cancers, what they do, they remove the whole colon. And they connect the ileum to anal canal. So the food diarrhea, that diarrhea, directly goes to the anal canal and goes out. You see that? So these people, 
obviously they lose a lot of water. They always dehydrate it, so they have to replace it. But more important than that, there is something else happened, the lack of vitamin K, because they don't have. So we have to give them vitamin K externally, continuously, until they they, they are alive. You see? Except what? Supplements. Supplements, yeah. The injection they do once a month, or they just give them pills continuously. Uh, but we don't need to do that, because as long as we eat normal food, we have bacteria. You see, these are the points that, you, that helps you understand that how this system. So, so, so this is large intestine. Now we know the water absorption and defecation, which is very important to get rid of the waste, and then vitamin K production. Mm -hmm.